Mr. Beast gets over 1 billion views a month. The secret? Effective editing techniques. Today I'm revealing 5 VFX tricks and effects starting from beginner to advanced that Mr. Beast uses to elevate his videos and how you can use them to go viral. The Flash Effect. Flash effect is a simple effect that brings energy and attention to your cuts and can be done in less than a minute. Most of these effects in this video are gonna be done inside After Effects, but for this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in After Effects and Premiere Pro. To create this flash effect, all we're gonna do is go down to new item and click on adjustment layer and click okay. Before adding your adjustment layer, just double click on it. And we wanna make this adjustment layer 20 frames. So we're gonna grab it and trim it down so it's 20 frames. You can see the little time code where it's right there. Drag in your adjustment layer and put it right over your first cut over to effects and then type in levels next grab that levels and put it on your adjustment layer over inside effects and controls you want to go down to the rgb white input level and you want to put a little stopwatch for me i'm going to change this to 50 and then we're going to go back three frames one two three and then we're going to put this back to 255. next you want to go ahead in your timeline about double the frames about six and put this back to 255. Now, if you play it back, you got this really easy flash effect. Now, to add flashes to your whole video, you can either alt click and drag and duplicate it and put it right over your second clip, or you can just drag your adjustment layer around your whole entire video. And on your next cut, all you have to do is just highlight these, click Control C, click Control V, and then just highlight them and then drag that middle one right over the transition. Now that you learned how to do it in Premiere Pro, let's do it in After Effects. First thing we're gonna do is right click, click New, and then put in a adjustment layer. Go to your transition. Inside your effects and presets, we're gonna type in exposure. Drag that exposure onto your adjustment layer. On the transition, we're gonna change this to 1.5. Next, we're gonna go over here and click on the stopwatch to put a keyframe. We're gonna click U on our adjustment layer to bring up the keyframes. We're gonna do the same process of going back three frames, putting this to zero, going ahead about double that, so like six or seven seconds, and then putting this to zero. Now, all we have to do is just highlight them, control C, Put it over our next transition, middle, next, same. Now that you just created this flash effect, now it's time for something just as important. Hex animations. All right, let's be honest. You want to spend the next five minutes trying to learn how to make a text animation, or would it be easier just to give you guys a free text preset? That's what I thought. But before I give away my free text animations, I want to tell you guys about my new Typeflow text animations pack. Featuring 30 plus high quality text animation presets, 10 unique text effects, and a free Chrome text template to instantly take your edits to the next level. No keyframes, no hassle, just drag, drop, and done. These presets will save you hours of time and help you create clean, professional, eye-catching text animations to wow your audience. Don't fall behind, click that link in the description to grab the pack now and upgrade your text animations today. I'll also be dropping free sample text animations from the pack on my store, so go check those out if you want to add that juicy sauce. Solo color effect. Mr. Beast uses this trick to make key moments pop and uses it as a way to show a previous clip that just happened called a flash backward. The first effect that you want to add to your video is called leave color. Grab that leave color and put it onto your video. Next on the color to leave, we want to click on below eyedropper. Now you want to go over and pick what color that you want to keep and every other color will not be seen. For us, we want to keep only the blue color. So we're just going to go on one of these blues and just click right in the middle on the amount to the color. We're going to bring this up. And as you can see, you'll slowly see that the blue stays and everything else is black and white. Another key setting is on the magic colors. We're gonna change this to use hue. Now it's time to add the sauce. The next thing you wanna add is curves. And what curves does, it just adds a little bit more contrast to your video, kind of making it more grungy. So we wanna, wanna hold right here and drag down to bring down the darks. Click right here and bring this up to make an S. Of course, you wanna make those minor adjustments. What was that? More sauce? I got you. Another thing our video needs is some texture. So over in effects and presets, we're gonna type in auto, and then we're gonna go down to noise HSL auto, and we're gonna grab that and put it on our video. Next, on the noise, we're gonna change this to grain, and on the lightness, we're gonna turn this to 15. What this does is it just adds a very professional looking grain to our video that animates with our video also. Giving our video a lot more texture and that grungy look. The next thing we wanna add is a vignette. So we're just gonna type in V-I-G, 
Then we're gonna grab the CC vignette, put it on our video. From here on the amount, we're just gonna crank this up like Soldier Boy. And what this does, it just helps make you focus only on whatever is centered in your video. And the last sauce that we can add to this, just to add a little bit more juiciness, is we're gonna type in glow. Find whatever glow that you like. For us, we're gonna use the default glue, glue. For us, we're gonna change the intensity to 0.3, the radius to 175. And on the threshold, this is where you can play around and show how much glow that you want. For all my people that have sapphire, I recommend putting flicker. Not only does this effect draw your eyes in and helps it feel like it's part of a different segment, but what if you can make your text feel like it's a part of the video? 3D Tracked Hollow Matrix Text. Now, Mr. Beast uses 3D Tracked Text to make it feel like it's part of the video. And on top of that, he uses his signature Hollow Matrix Text as a staple. Let me show you how to create both. In our timeline, we have some movement and we're gonna be adding some 3D track text to the middle. The first thing you wanna do is click on your video, go over to effects and presets, and then we wanna type in 3D camera track. Grab that 3D camera tracker, put it on your video. Next, add some of that saucy settings where we go down to advanced, and then right here on detailed analysis, you wanna click on that little checkbox. Pretty much all it does is it makes sure it has a lot more tracking data so you can have a little bit more customization. Now we sit here and wait for the 3D camera tracker to analyze. Yo, my PC making a funny noise. Once it's done analyzing, you'll see all these different camera tracking points. The next step is you want to find where exactly you want to have 3D track text. And for us, we want it to be in the middle right here. And a pro tip, you can just hover over three of them, and right click or left click and draw around all the tracking points that you want to track to. Next, you just want to right click for us, we want to create text. We're going to click on create text in camera. Next, we just want to click on our text layer. And from here, this is where we want to adjust it. So from here, there's going to be some minor adjustments. We're going to bring it up and just bring it to the perspective on how you would like. And for us, we're just going to name this Mr. Beast. Once you have your text position, you can kind of scrub through and see how well the track is. Now, if you ever watch a Mr. Beast video and wondered how he makes his cool holographic text, I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, Mr. Beast uses an effect called Universe Hollow Matrix by Universe Plugin by Trap Code. So for me, if I type in Hollow Matrix, we're right here, we're going to click on Hollow Matrix 2 and put it on our video. You'll instantly see that now our text just turned into Hollow Matrix text. The first thing I usually do is go over to choose a preset. And inside this preset folder, I usually click on OK Blue. Click select and on the frame rate, I usually change this back to its normal frame rate. And that is how simple it is to create the hollow matrix text that Mr. Beast uses. I have a full in-depth tutorial if you guys want to learn how to do some cool looking stylistic text. So check that out. It'll be linked in the description. And just like that, not only did you learn how to 3D camera track text, but you also learned how to make that hollow matrix text like Mr. Beast. But what if you really wanted to make your text stand out? Oh! 3D track text is the ultimate move. Now for this last effect or technique, I already made a full in-depth tutorial on how Mr. Beast uses 3D track text to really emphasize his scene. If you guys would like to learn how to make the best looking 3D track text you possibly can, I'll leave a link down in the description to the whole tutorial. Or you can just wait like five seconds and I'll play it on the end screen in like two seconds. Seconds. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you guys just drop a like and subscribe down below. I'll land up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. <gasps>